we were very conscious to try and create a different and an even better experience for this movie in IMAX. It's unbelievably immersive, you know, it, it is incredible sound, and the image is second to none. You don't watch it, you experience it. Nineteen Seventeen is meant to be an immersive film. It's meant to feel like 115 minutes in someone else's life, and you want to see that in the biggest screen with the best sound system. It's a huge movie. It's very intimate, it's very character-driven, but the landscape it goes through is vast and stunning. What Roger Deakins achieved in this is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's something special. The sort of uh, power of it, when it's played out over this kind of landscape that IMAX can provide, is even greater than in a conventional movie theatre. You're not just seeing the letterbox version of the film, it gives you more space at top and bottom of frame, so you feel more connected to the central characters. You just feel the walls of the trenches so close, closing in on you, you know, with that extra little bit of space that the IMAX screen affords you, that locks you in to this story of these two men. Last man standing. Sam, honest to God, is a genius. He really is. And to have a, a, a director that has such a crystal clear vision of the characters, the story he's trying to tell, is very comforting. He's a very actor's director. 1917 is a bunch of the kind of A-list cinema makers at the top of their game, given 110% every day. The triumph of human spirit is what I hope people leave with. The reason to go and see it in the IMAX and the reason to sit in the front row is that you're not going to watch a movie, you're going to live one.